Coming up on this month's edition of the RMAX Showcase, we invade Lakewood, Colorado in the campus of Colorado Christian University. It's a family affair on the diamonds around CCU. We'll catch up with a family who are a big part of the baseball and softball teams. Plus, the track and field team partakes in the toughest league in the country. If that hasn't kept their fighting spirit down, we'll meet two of the toughest on the squad. And she spikes them hard, but her skills off the court are worthy of writing home about. Those stories and much more are right around the corner as the RMAX Showcase starts right now. Welcome to the campus of Colorado Christian University, located less than 10 miles west of downtown Denver. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Carter, your host for the next 30 minutes as we take a tour of CCU. Spring sports are in full swing and that's exactly where we're going to start as we sit down with one family who is a major reason for the Cougars' success on the baseball and softball diamonds. At first glance, baseball and softball are the same sport. Farmer's going to get this one down, just slaps it the other way. Sure, there are minor differences in the rules, but the idea is the same. That's what made the transition for Larry Hayes so easy after more than 40 years coaching college baseball. My wife, we were on a, a motor home, as senior citizens are, retirement, driving along, and kind of talked about it and everything, and I looked at her and she looked at me and she said, Sounds like fun, let's do it. Larry, who's a member of the College Baseball Hall of Fame, took over after his son left for another opportunity. But that wasn't the only reason he picked up after 52 years of living in Texas. That's another reason why we've got two, two grandsons, uh, Hunter and Heath, and uh, they're playing baseball here. And so I had, I had several good reasons to come, and th those are two important ones. He's such a, a great coach and a great man, and to have him here, not only coaching the softball team and just really being a great coach for them, but also a mentor to my brother and I as well. So having him up, him up here uh, has been a great experience as well. With 11 grandchildren, this isn't the first time Larry has coached younger members of his family. Four years ago, I had three of my, or four of my granddaughters on the team. Their high school coach died nine days before the season started, so filled in and, and uh, Tough situation to take over, but when you got four granddaughters on there, it was a lot of fun. And of course, the only problem is that if we ever got beat, they blame the hazes because you got so many hazes on there. Having our dad leave, we didn't really know what was going to happen yet. And then our granddad stepping up and just coming, coming back to coaching. Just even though he's not coaching our team, just him being around and just being a presence is is huge. Hunter and Heath, who have started nearly every game for CCU this year, are out of the running for the postseason with the baseball team. But Larry has the softball team fighting for a conference championship. You know, at our age, to have another opportunity like it and be around this team. This is a good bunch of girls, and uh, it's a fun team to coach, and they, they, they work hard. And so all the things that you enjoy in coaching is here, and uh, I'm fortunate to get to do it. Sometimes it's easy to take it for granted, but CCU is such a small place and like such a family environment that I always see my grandpa around and even on campus or at chapel. And um, I think that's, it's really been cool because we're, Heath and I, even though we're in college, we're still, um, we've had the opportunity to be close with our grandparents. And um, even when my dad was here, it was just awesome because um, going away in college and not having your family can be tough, but um, we've had a nice mix and balance of having our space, but at the same time being able to be close with family and, so it's been really a blessing. All those things plus family is what keeps the Cougars ticking. Sticking with the diamonds in the early going, Jace Hampstead introduces us to one Cougar who takes the term student athlete to heart in this segment of Arm Academics. CCU athletes are led by the dominant women's softball team, which is coming off their best season in school history, thanks in large part to third baseman Stephanie Day, a true student athlete who loves her campus and her team. Um, what gets me uh, to come back every day are the girls um, and just how we come together and play for each other. And there's just so many different aspects, um, especially with softball, it's the one sport where you're scoring without the ball, and I think that's a really unique aspect of the sport. Coaching changes are nothing new in college athletics, and the softball team went through one this summer, but theirs had a special twist, as their previous coach's father, who has over 40 years of coaching college baseball, took over the reins. Well, last year was a fun year, extraordinary year, um, and then Shannon, uh, this summer, 
told us he was going to Oklahoma Christian, um, but in response he was bringing on his um, father, Larry Hayes, out of retirement to come coach us. And so that was really fun just because um, we've known Larry since uh, my freshman year, so for three years. So it wasn't anything, no crazy changes. It was a cool year um, to just integrate family to the, the program. You know, at our age, to have another opportunity like it and be around this team. This is a good bunch of girls, and uh, it's a fun team to coach. And they, they, they work hard, so all the things that you enjoy in coaching is here. Finding the keys to success varies from player to player and team to team. For this squad, it's all about chemistry. And one of the cool aspects about softball is that um, college softball is the highest you really can get. So we really play for each other. And when you play for the right reasons, um, that's where you find success. The success stems to more than softball. It's a lifestyle and Stephanie Day has put just as much of that energy back into her campus where she has spread her influence into the administration and student organizations. So last year, I was just on SAC um, and then also I took on the role of applying for the athletic senator here on campus. And I really just like to hear the voice of the administration and students. This year, I decided to take on and uh, run for student body president for my senior year. And um, with all the support of coaches, roommates, teammates, um, and just students here on campus, um, I ended up winning and I'll be the student body president next year. Alongside those extracurricular activities, Day adds some sporting accolades to her resume, including first team all RMAC and first team all region at third base. And I got a phone call from Shannon Hayes and he said, um, uh, who am I talking to? And I said, it's, it's Steph Day. And he was like, no, I believe it's the first team All-American utility player. The key thing about her, she's an All-American person. She's an All-American student. She's a leader on campus, president of the student body, and uh, you know, just does everything right. I try not to focus on it at all. Um, I'm a teammate, and I'm a person just like anybody else. Um, I'm just a third baseman um, playing the game I love. For the RMAC Showcase, I'm Jace Hampstead. Thanks, Jace. That does it for the first quarter on this month's RMAC Showcase. When we come back, we'll spend some time around the track. We'll be back after this timeout.